Hi everyone, welcome to Cloud Next 2022 and our session on solutions for protecting your data and meeting compliance using encryption. My name is Il-Sung Lee. I'm a group product manager within the Cloud Security Group, working specifically on, on key management and encryption. And along with me, I have Saul Cates. Hi, everybody. Thanks, Il-Sung, for the introduction. I'm Solomon Cates, Principal Technologist for Cloud and Cybersecurity at Talos. I spent a lot of my time working in cloud security uh, architectures, which I'm really excited to share with you today. Back to you. Thanks, Saul. So today, we're going to talk primarily about two different topics. So first, I'll go over some best practice for a key management in GCP. So a lot of our customers use our key management solutions to actually protect their data at rest. And so and often they have a lot of questions about things and hopefully I'll be able to answer some of the more common ones. And then I'll turn it over to Saul who will then actually talk a little bit about the, the data sovereignty and some of the solutions that we have between Google and Talos. So first, let's talk a little bit about key management best practices. And I'm going to talk through three questions. And these three questions are ones where I get a lot of questions around. And I'd like to help out people understand some of the solutions. And hopefully, by the end of this, you'll have learned at least one thing new. The first question is really is around, how do I determine which resources are protected by my keys? So if you're a GCP user, you're often using keys to protect your data, and specifically keys that you control, whether it's something that you you do directly through encryption or most commonly through using our customer managed encryption keys. And so if you're using your customer managed encryption keys, you probably have a lot of keys and determining which keys are used to protect which data may be a little bit challenging. To help solve this problem, we're providing a couple of solutions in the near future. And so the first one is called the key inventory dashboard. And if you use GCP today, you know that when you want to list out all the keys that you have in a project, then you normally have to click through every single key ring and then enumerate them all individually. Well, not anymore. You'll be able to use a key inventory dashboard where you'll be able to actually have a different, different tab that'll list out all the keys in the flat panel, as you can see on the, on the example or on the screen. The next thing is, is that when you go through this, you can actually click on individual keys, and then you can actually do something called usage tracking. So that uses tracking tab will actually tell you which CMAC resources are protected by your key. Really cool, right? The second question I want to go over is, can I use Cloud HSM for TLS offloading? And it's not just Cloud HSM, but it's also any other key management service that we provide. So it can be our HSM keys, it can be our software keys, it can even be an external key. But the HSM is one that people most often refer to. Happily, I'd like to say that you can do this. And the reason you can do this is through our Cloud KMS PKSS 11 library. You can use that in conjunction with OpenSSL. And then together with Apache or Nginx, you can actually set up an environment where you terminate the TLS within it. It's actually very, very simple to do. And all you need to do is follow the instructions in the links that are pasted below in the slide. And with this, you can actually fully use our, our key management services in the cloud or an external key manager to actually protect the, the private side and key. The last question that I want to address is how do I decide what type of key I should use? Now, in GCP, we've gone through a lot of lengths to provide you with the wealth of different key management solutions to help you through different types of scenarios. But sometimes, the having a lot of choices can actually be more confusing. And to understand how to better use this, I'd like to explain a little bit about the layered approach in terms of how to, how to manage your data. So first of all, you should have an understanding around what your sensitivity of your data is. And so if it's not as sensitive or moderately sensitive, then you can probably use the default encryption that we provide. And to remind everyone, Google Cloud makes sure that every single piece of data that you put into our, into our cloud is encrypted at rest by default. Or if you need to control the keys, then you can use our customer managed encryption keys with a Cloud KMS software key. Now, if the data is a little bit more sensitive than that, maybe it faces more regulatory hurdles and challenges, then you can use CMEC with our Cloud HSM key. And then you'll be able to protect all your data with a, a hardware key that's FIPS 140-2 level three certified in a service that's completely managed by Google. And then finally, if you have very high sensitive data, and this is, sense, this is data that you probably wouldn't normally put into the cloud or not traditionally, 
And I'm talking about things like, you know, your highly regular data, maybe credit card numbers, PHI, things like this. Then you can use Cloud H, I mean, sorry, CMEC with our Cloud EKM or External Key Manager. And by doing this, you can actually keep your data inside the cloud and use the power of the cloud with keys that are outside. And to talk a little bit more about this, I'm going to turn it over to Saul, who's going to talk a little bit more about CMEC uh, and EKM, along with data sovereignty. Saul? Thanks, Phil Song. Data sovereignty has become a very interesting conversation over the last handful of years. Talos has been one of the leaders in creating sovereign architectures and implementations for some time now. But with the advent of the cloud and working with organizations like Google, we're starting to see a very rapid adoption based upon requirements and regulation. When we're looking at workloads that will be running in the cloud, uh, again, like Ilsa mentioned earlier, uh, how you use your keys, what kind of keys you're using, where are you storing them, and what features are you using to protect them, uh, is a complicated conversation for some organizations. We typically get involved at Talos in the medium risk, high risk, and very high risk architectures beginning with the you know, externally managed bring your own key, which we'll talk about here in the following slide, uh, really sets the stage for key management of customer managed encryption keys using external technology and tools that help to help simplify and minimize the amount of overhead to keep your data safe and secure while meeting requirements. External key management, where you're actually wanting to hold your keys externally really dives into things like GCP's Cloud EKM, which we'll talk here again shortly in another slide. And then for those workloads that are very, very sensitive and the organization or the entity needs to protect the data, control the applications, and the entire suite of data security, we also see bring your own encryption. But today we're gonna to focus on bring your own key and hold your own key. And with that, we quite often get asked, how do I use keys externally? What are my options? What are the requirements that I have to bring in? And what kind of technologies do I need to support this? And so with that, there's really two paths that we see quite often. One is bring your own key, where you as an entity and organization are importing and leveraging keys that you are managing external from the cloud. And this really has a full life cycle that we'll talk about in a subsequent uh, slide. And this really helps for people that our organizations actually want to have a key rotation and compliance reporting that is managed by them. Hold your own key is where using technologies like Talos's CCKM, Cypher Trust Cloud Key Manager, you can actually host keys external from the cloud and leverage them to protect things like the customer managed encryption key within GCP. So with that, the bring your own key architecture that we quite often see uh, is, is not only in protecting the keys externally that you're creating, but importing them and syncing them and leveraging them through an entire life cycle from birth to destruction, including monitoring and rotation. This really helps organizations have full control over the keys life cycle uh, in the cloud, but also keep their keys on premise inside of boundaries and borders that they control. This is a pretty popular architecture, and what, what supports this from Talos is the CypherTrust Cloud Key Manager. So not only using CCKM for cloud key management for bring your own key, you can also leverage it for what we call hold your own key, which we support the Google Cloud EKM functionality. This allows you to create, manage, and store your keys outside of Google Cloud while making sure your keys stay within HSMs on-premise or eight key managers that you manage within your jurisdiction. This really allows for data sovereignty, where the keys are kept off cloud, but the data is stored in cloud. When we talk to organizations around things like GDPR and SHREMS 2, this becomes a very strong focus point for us and our customers. And we don't just stop there. Talos and Google have been working for some time on many other solutions that integrate our products and expertise to protect your data in many other architectures. From Google Workspace and the client-side encryption features, you also can manage those inside your Cypher Trust Cloud Key Manager, to the slew of different use cases within GCP, from bring your own key, hold your own key, including uh, ubiquitous data encryption as well. This allows the organization to use their existing implementation and investments for protecting their keys off cloud to actually protect their data on cloud. And we love working together to become better together. 
we've been for some time actually introducing more and more features and functionality for securing your data wherever it might be and making sure that you can still leverage your investments in your HSMs and your key managers that you keep on your premises, but also support more and more trust and attestation of things running in the cloud powered by Google and trusted and secured by Talos. We also highly recommend that you do use Cloud EKM to not only create a seamless integration of off-cloud key management with on-cloud key usage, but really drive that security and sovereignty of the data itself to meet your government requirements or uh, regulatory requirements. The beautiful thing is all of these uh, key management capabilities, whether they be bring your own key or hold your own key or other integrations from a key management perspective, the same tasks can be used for the same keys, particularly with CMEC keys. And so with that, I want to thank you all for the time. I appreciate it. Ilsan. Thanks so much, Saul. And on behalf of Saul and myself, I'd like to thank you very much for joining our session. And we hope to see you again soon.